how do we know the water quality that we receive from the tap water in China? Often this information is very difficult to find out and there are multiple ways. One way that we've actually used is to use one of these, a TDS meter. TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids and basically it measures the particles per million in the water with the idea being that the higher level of the particles the more risk uh, it is to your health. Let's look at the tap water and try this out. Okay, straight from the tap, put in the TDS meter. Okay, so let's have a look. Can you see the reading? The reading is about 67, 68. That's well within the range for drinking water. I think the FDA in America suggests under 300, um, so it's like in the good range. But ideally, we're looking for zero because the thing is, we don't know what these PPM uh, particles are in this water, the contaminants. It could be that it's from minerals in you know, like a spring water, or it could be urban runoff. We're not quite sure. So, what we recommend is purified water. So let's have a look at the difference. Just empty this out. Okay, I'm gonna take my glass and I'm gonna take my meter and we're gonna go over to our water dispenser. Come on, watch out, here we go. Be careful, there we go. Okay, you wanna come forward a little bit more? There we go. Okay, so, got my glass, got my TDS meter. Right, so this is purified water, so this basically if we've got purified water, which hopefully we do, it should be zero ppm. And there you go. Can you see? So this is purified water. It's zero ppm, which means there's absolutely no contaminants that are either you know, bad or good. Uh, and basically you can do whatever you want with this water. It's in the excellent range of water quality. So I kind of want to illustrate what I mean by the contaminants of uh, water being good or bad. So I actually have a tea bag. So if I put the tea bag in the tea, obviously it's going to start to change the color of the water and you can actually visually see the particles in the water because it will start to change color. So if I go around with that, Okay, so there you go. Can you see? So right now, it's saying, what, 64 ppm. So what that indicates is that the T which has 64 ppm and you can see is discolored so we can see the sort of particles 
is more or less the same amount of ppm that's in the tap water. Whereas the T, I know that that's T in there and that's where the particles are coming from. In the tap water, I'm not quite sure. So that's kind of why we recommend the purified water. An alternative, uh, if you don't want to get purified water, if it's too much of a hassle for you uh, and you don't want to keep paying out that marginal amount each month, uh, what you can do is to start to filter the tap water in your home. Um, one thing that we had for a while uh, was one of these. It's a water filter that you put on the nozzle of your tap that you will filter out the water. How it works inside there is like a, a chalk filter uh, that the water runs through and supposedly cleans the water. So if you see this is one of our old filters. You can see it goes yellow and brown you know from all the filtering what contaminants that it picks up and when they first go in they're all white. These are a good sort of cheap option if you're kind of worried about your tap water and, you're, and you use it for like um, you know washing your vegetables or uh, that sort of thing washing dishes and, and stuff and you're just like a little bit worried about the contaminants. Uh, this one uh, was quite cheap. It was maybe like 50 or 60 RMB. We got it from Taobao and we'll put links below so you can get one of these if you so want. Um, I don't think it's up to the standard if you want to use it for like uh, soup or you know for just drinking water. If you want to do that you actually want to get yourself a whole filtration system and purification system. Um, those ones are a lot more expensive. They're, we're talking in the thousands of RMB and they're a big investment for your home but you should definitely get one if you are going to be in China for a while. How it would work is if you look under the sink you've got all the plumbing. What the filtration system will do is just add a little bit more to the plumbing except uh, it when the water comes in is going to come in through a filtration system uh, that uh, injects chemicals that purifies the water before it actually comes out of the tap so you won't see it in the same way as this but you should know that you have a clean uh, purified water by having this water system uh, installed and uh, you can actually get some uh, Chinese you know, local experts uh, and installers to actually do that for you as well as part, as part of uh, the actual syst buying the system. So remember the TDS meter is only one way to sort of measure part of the water quality uh, within China and around the world. We'll put a link below so you could get your hands on one of these TDS meters. It was only like 10 RMB or something like that that we got from Taobao. Um, but they're pretty cheap and you don't need a super high quality one with lots of little functions. But it's a good way for you to measure the water quality in your home. Uh, remember, you also have to consider many other things. One of the other things might be the pH level as well is something that you consider but maybe that's a little bit beyond most people okay well i hope you found this very informational 